Hello everyone, this is the Archfiend and welcome to the awesomearchfiend.com. It is Friday night at 8 and no matter how many times I say this, someone will always ask me when is the next Ask the Archfiend. Well you're watching Ask the Archfiend and so are these people. Well they're not watching, they're just typing but you get the idea. Anyways, they were here Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't ask me why you missed it and what time the next one is. Anyways, let's get to the meat of the matter here and get some questions out of the way. Okay, more fattening, beer or wine? Um, I'm going to say wine is more fattening. If you drink excess amounts of wine, that is a lot of sugar. And sugar is very, very fattening. Uh, I mean, beer, I mean, that's, that's carbohydrate city, but... Um, yeah, I would say I would, yeah, deeply, deeply enriched sugar product is probably worse for you than the alcohol product known as beer. But anyways, um, orange or yellow? Orange, because the Flyers are orange. I hate yellow because the Pittsburgh Steelers are yellow. And I hope Ben Roethlisberger and those accusations are true. They probably are, but you know, that's just my opinion. What editing software do I use? That's a good question, Jasper. I only have two softwares that I use. I have Pinnacle, which doesn't work with goddamn Windows Vista, so I have to use my old piece of shit HP laptop when I want to use Pinnacle software to edit because I can't transfer it onto this shitty... Sorry, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to poke you like that. This shitty Windows Vista computer, and I use Windows Movie Maker. I keep it simple because my videos are simple. Anyways... Would you ever play with Ninja Turtles action figures with me? Of course, Mayu. Only if you let me control Donatello. And when I was a little kid, when um, I'd play with the Ninja Turtles, I'd have them like all like fight each other, like the good ones versus the bad ones. Donatello always came out the victor in the end. Always. That was the one. I'm sorry. It was, it was just very, very deep entrenched favoritism there. But Donatello always won. Not to mention the fact that I had th like three or four different versions of Donatello. But it, let's not get into that. Okay. Um, next question. Is Theon an annoying prick? And yes, I call his name Theon. It's spelled T-H-I-A-N. I prefer to call it Theon. I mean, I don't know. People are saying, like, well, it shouldn't it be Thion, like Brian? No, I call it Theon. You know why I call it Theon? I have no idea why, but I call it that. Anyways, do you believe in luck? Um, I mean... Not really. I mean, things just happen when they happen. And it's not like, um, you know, I, I bought that lottery ticket and I scratched it off when I won that day because I was, like, more lucky than the day before when I bought the lottery ticket. I mean, it's just under the thing of, you know, stuff happens when it happens. But, um, yeah, I mean, you can call yourself lucky. I just call it you or just more on your game or just happen to be at the right place at the right time more than anything else. So, anyways, what do I think of the wrestler Mick Foley? Um, well, I, for one, have an autographed version of his book. I think it was very good, very, very good in-depth look at wrestling. And um, as for what he's doing today, um, he just really wants to be in the ring and that's one of the things that WWE wouldn't let him do. So that's one of the main reasons why he went to TNA because he didn't want his like last match to be like you know that joke match that he had with Coach and Hornswoggle or whatever the hell it was. So um, yeah, he needs to retire. He just he cannot he cannot put on an entertaining match anymore, and he can't just be thrown off cages or anything like that that he used to. Anyways, a lot of my viewers are probably bored with that question, Jasper. Okay, do I make more money than IGSRJ? Absolutely, absolutely. Don't believe the numbers that he tells you. He is a perennial liar. And as you know, we grew up together. And every year he would, um, like at Christmas time, he, he would like lie about like the presents he got and lie about how much money he got for his birthday just to try and like impress me. And I was like, I was like, get on my face, kid. I know you don't get anything for your birthday. No one likes you. No one wants to give you presents. No one gives you money. And then he would turn around and cry. Much like how he cries in all his videos today. Anyway. Mr. Bean or Mr. Ben? I don't know who Mr. Ben is. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jasper. I, I ruined your question there. <laughs> would you, would, you, would, you wanna, would I want a job from RJ's dad? Of course I do, RJ. He's in the landscaping business. And... 
I would love to spend my entire summers cutting lawns. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. Okay, where, why is the music in the background? Yeah, that's because IGSRJ's live video channel is still on my front page, my website, and it's, it's gotta go. It's gotta go. It plays shitty songs 24-7 on that channel, and it's gotta go. What the buck or irate hack? Oh my god. Um, well, first of all, we don't, we don't speak of the certain hack that I just mentioned here, so I'm just gonna have to ignore that question. So I'll have to go with what the buck. Can you sing Ben for me? Oh my god, Christina. Yes. Yes, I can. But it won't be now. IGSRJ or dog shit? Good question, Mayu. Um, good question. Both are very irritating. And, you know, both are just like... You can, you can just find both at like random times of the day in the middle of the lawn, just like lying around doing nothing. And you can, you can accidentally step in both and not realize it. And yeah, um, I don't know. It's a coin flip. That's a coin flip. Um, flip a coin, Mayu. Um, heads for IGSRJ, tails for dog shit. And whichever one it lands on is better. So there you go. Okay, what are my worst fears? That's a good question. What are my worst fears? Um, just death that I can't control. Um, I mean, I mean, everyone, everyone's afraid of dying and like, Okay, I can deal with the fact, like, if I got, like, cancer or something or some sort of incurable disease, I would deal with it. But just, like, I just fear, like, some, like, asshole old person or something that shouldn't be driving on the road just, like, you know, careens into my car. Or, like, I'm just, like, walking on the sidewalk and they don't realize their bearings and, like, they just, you know, go for a joyride up on the sidewalk and just, like, knock over telephone poles for the hell of it. But anyways, um, yeah, dying uh, without my control, that, that's definitely my worst fear. Worst show ever. Um, worst TV show ever is probably Arliss on HBO. That show, for those of you who don't know, I don't know what that comedian, um, oh, I forget his name now, the guy that was on Arliss, but um, he had a show on HBO that it must have been on for like six, seven, eight years. I don't know a single person in the world that watched and enjoyed that show. And it's like they put like DVDs out, out of it of like the seasons. I'm like, who buys this shit? It was such a goddamn piss poor, horrible show. Like it wasn't funny. It was about a sports agent and it was all comic y and stuff. I mean, it made Tom Cruise's performance in Jerry Maguire look like the, one of the greatest performances in the history of cinema. That show, Arliss, holy shit, I could talk about it for an hour. It was so bad. Look it up, people. It sucked. Hellblazer, no. Is Morshu a perverted sex addict? By the way, our new background that I forgot to point out was picked by special guest hosts. And for those of you who don't know, the background is picked by the four members when they say something that strikes my interest in tonight, it happened to be Morshu. And this is in honor of the Morshu show who is getting beaten down by the man in Australia and he can't be here because he values stuff like sleep and his life and other shit and he never comes to my shows. Um, when am I going to say your name right? May you, I told you I am never going to say your name right. Never. I mean, not even like when we're, if, you know, when we're standing at the altar and the priest says, you know, you have to say her name right to commit the vows. I'm like, I, I, I can't say it right. Hell no. That shit ain't happening. She's still Mayu. And then they're like, fine, wedding's off. And then Mayu will run away like crying. And I'll be like, I had to do what I had to do. I'm not calling her by her real name. Her name's Mayu. And then her family will hate me forever. And then I'll have to deal with that. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, um. Sonic is annoying, yes or no? Um, like the cartoon and stuff, yes. The character, the Genesis game, um, very cool, um, very unique concept. Um, the, basically, Mario fast is what Sonic is in a lot of ways. But um, yeah, Sonic's pretty cool. Sonic's a pretty cool cat, even though he's not a cat. Clerks or Clerks 2? How about I have not seen either of them? Even though I am told that I remind a lot of people of... Um, Shit, I forget the character in that show, um, in that movie. So there's someone in that movie that people say, oh my god, you remind me of blah blah blah. Ask Boo Kitty. She always says that I remind her of um, one of the characters in that show, in that movie. Um, yeah, anyways, um, I haven't seen them. 
And I mean, I'm like one of the few people in New Jersey that don't get Kevin Smith films. Like, I don't really understand them. I don't, I don't really enjoy them much at all. I've watched a couple of his films, and I'm just like, I don't get it. Not really, not really much of anything. So, Phantom, why are my hands hurting? Probably because you masturbate with both hands on your penis, and that is very bad practice. You should learn to switch back and forth, or perhaps. Um, come to completion with one hand and then switch over to the other hand. So work on that phantom. Um, doing it both at the same time, that, that's, it doesn't, doesn't torque right. And yeah, it, it's going to damage your hands for good if you're not careful. Will you ever die? Uh, will I ever die? Absolutely. And a lot of people always ask me, like, um, well, Jesus, why are you such a goddamn health freak? What, do you want to live to be 120? Actually, no, I don't. I'll be fine if I make it. <clears throat> excuse me i'll be fine if i make it to 80 i'm, I'm getting you know, uh, all sorts of pneumonia as we speak right now but um yeah 80 is a good age if i live 80 full healthy years then i'll be fine with that then then the bolts of lightning can just like you know proverbially come crashing down through my bedroom and and kill me off for all the sins that i've committed in this world so yeah Ah, your fan art versus IGSRJ's fan art. Um, my fan art is so much better than IGSRJ's fan art. By the way, I have a fan art section here. And I actually have a section where you can donate your own fan art. So you don't have to, like, email it to me. I have a section where you can just upload your own fan art here to the website. So if you don't feel like emailing it to me or putting it in a file and send it over, you can come to awesomearchfiend.com, photo section, and upload your fan art of, you know, your, your favorite superhero, which is me. Or more shoe, depending on what day of the week it is. What is your favorite Spider-Man villain? Um, I'm not really too big into Spider-Man, um, so um, yeah, I didn't follow the comic too awful much. But in the movies, I thought the Sandman character was pretty badass, and there's a, a pretty cool concept about him, like you know, when he turns into sand and you can't hurt him, and yeah, um, yeah. Anyways. What is my favorite movie villain? Oh, my favorite movie villain of all time. Wow, that's a good question. I would have to say Arnold in the original Terminator. And if Franco makes another noise like that, he's getting banned from the room. But yeah, I mean, what what is more menacing than a goddamn robot that's coming after you that can't die? I mean, that's just scary as shit. Something that came from the future and no one can stop it. That's just that's just badass. Yeah. Do you think I'm awesome? Um, the worst computer wants to think I'm awesome. Um, no. Um, he um, he originally asked a question that like um, he wasn't sure who Morshu was at first. So um, uh, right there, all awesome people would definitely know who Morshu was. So yeah. What is my favorite flavor of tea? Um, I don't drink tea. I mean. What do I look like? Do I look like your average London goer here, Jasper? Jesus Christ, I'm American. I'm a man. I don't drink tea. Pussies and pigeons sitting on top of Big Ben drink tea, all right? Do you like Three's Company? No. I really did not like that show. I thought John Ritter's character was so goddamn annoying in that and just so ambiguously homosexual. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, but just, like, the mannerisms and the way he just overact overreacted to everything and just, like, tried to be comedic with it. And it was just, I don't know, it just came off as lame. Just came off lame. Lame sauce. Lame sauce with a side of lame fries covered in lame ketchup. All right, that got pretty redundant. Okay, next question here. What are your thoughts on Screw Attack? Um, you know what? I haven't been to the main Screw Attack website in a while, um, but yeah, so I don't really know pretty much anyone else there other than, than AVGN and Handsome Tom and Stuttering Craig, so yeah, that's it. Oh, God damn it, Adam. God damn it. <sighs> Adam's just upset that I slept with his sister, but we won't go into that tonight. All right. Good job, Jasper. See that? The mod's just taking over and taking charge here. Okay. Why is spamming for cool kids? Spamming is for cool kids because you have to have, in order to be a cool kid that spams, you have to have an IQ that is under 50 because, you know, he's at home going, <laughs> oh, my God, it's so funny. Look at all this that I put in here. Oh, my God, it's so funny. 
and then other under 50 IQs are looking at that going, oh my god, look at that kid, he's as funny as I am, holy shit, it's a little spamming douchebag just like me, it's so funny. But anyways, um, yeah, that's, um, where were we here? Okay, do I plan on making so much money from ad revenue that I don't have to work? Uh, that would be nice, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Onion Man, shut the hell up. Midgets or amputees? What the hell does that mean? Which one would I like more or hate more? What the hell do you mean by that? Um, amputees. Do you know that you make approximately $2 a day from the chat room ad revenue? I did not know that. That's a, that's a wonderful statistic that useless Dave. See, I mean, he's not so useless after all. He provided me with information I did not know. So way to go, Mr. Useless. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs all day. It's funny because when I used to live out in Wisconsin, my um, roommate, she had a cat. And I, I, I hated that cat. And it just, I don't know, it would just like, I, I'd be like making my food on my counter. It would just like jump up on the counter and be like, hey, what's going on up here? And I'd be like, get the hell out of my face, biatch. And I'd take that cat and I'd grab it by the tail and I'd, I'd swing it around like a medieval lance and like, like whack it into the ground. I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. I love animals. But yeah, and then like they come up and they, they just start rubbing your legs like you're going to feed them or something. Like that's going to coax them into feed them. I'm like... I'm like, man, that doesn't work for the women. What makes it makes you think it's going to work for you, pussy cat? And then I kick the cat across the lawn like a football. I punt it into the neighbor's yard because that's how I roll. Anyways, um, I don't kick cats, by the way. That's mean. I love animals, remember? That's great. IGSRJ is here. The show just dropped 20 points in coolness just from him showing up. Okay, will my final video be a striptease? If I ever make a final video on YouTube, it will absolutely be being, getting butt naked, dancing to the Yes song. Do you guys know what the, the Yes dance is? Um, you look that up on YouTube, by the way. It is probably one of the most obscenely homosexual things you'll ever see, but it is so ridiculously funny. Um, so everyone look up the Yes dance and... You'll laugh your asses off. It's just two homosexual guys doing the yes dance. And yeah, apparently it's like a sensation where like schools reenact it and stuff. And if you search videos, you'll find like actual schools that reenact that whole segment. And when they get to the ecstasy part, they always edit it out. But you'll have to look at the video to see what I'm saying. Anyways, um, did I play sports in school? Yes, I played soccer and baseball primarily. And then once I got into high school... Uh, stuff started like moving too fast for me because as you know I have like double vision and I'm sure all of you guys have heard about that in my previous videos and that basically makes like um, a decent caliber sport impossible to play but hockey I always played and for some reason that was like the one sport that I could cope with my double vision so I don't know go figure anyways um i played a little bit of hockey in college and that's about it so yeah soccer baseball hockey that's the three main sports i've played in neighborhood football and basketball um i'm a six foot one white guy so i had to represent for the for the brotherhood of white people on the basketball court so that's how i roll hellblazer i will not have sex with you i think you've asked that before and i i keep saying no but he keeps asking Okay, why is it, why isn't your YouTube channel Awesome Arch Fiend? Um, probably because I didn't think of the whole channel awesome thing and the whole awesomearchfiend.com until this past January. By the way, yeah, I do have a video called um, Channel Awesome, and I, I find it unique that someone else out there decided to use that for their website, but... I know it's just a coincidence, people, so don't start an uproar over that. But we all know where Channel Awesome started. It started right here on the Archfiend's YouTube channel. Yeah. Anyways, David Letterman or Sunday Party with Flip and Frederick. I do not know, or excuse me, Philip and Frederick. Um, I do not know who Philip or Flip and Frederick are. So, yeah, um, David Letterman, so, yeah. Is the music Morshoe's Curse? Yes. I don't know why, but it is, and I don't know what you meant with that comment. 
Final three questions. You know how this goes. Third question that pops up on the screen is going to get answered. One, two, the next one after. Okay. Does Jasper realize he is made of green cheese? Probably not, but if he is made of green cheese, green cheese obviously makes you smart because he got almost every damn question right the other night when we were playing that game here where I played like a second or two of like a, a song from a theme show, uh, from a TV show, and I had everyone in the room try and guess what it was. And by the way, yes, we play little games like that here, and it's all sorts of super stupendous fun here at theallsmartstream.com. Anyways, Jasper got like 99% of the questions right. And he would know what show the theme song was from, like, in two seconds. Next question. Uh, one, two, three. What is the cube root of 729? Math is hard. Math is not my strong suit. I could not figure out the cube root of 729 if you put a million dollars on the table and gave me, like, a calculator, a pen, a paper, and... I like the the ten hottest chicks on the other side of the room, like sitting on a bed waiting for me to come in, and they said you have to figure this out in order to get all this. I would just, I'd pull out a gun and kill myself. I'd be like, I can't do it. And I just, I would just die, and then I'd be like, damn it. I'd be really upset. I'd probably cry. It might be one of the few times I cry, but like I said before, it's okay to cry if you're a man, if you're gonna kill yourself right after it. So that's still fine. All right, next. Next question. One, two. Come on! Hurry up! Mellow Yellow or Mountain Dew? God damn it, you people know I don't drink soda. What's with you, Flying Raptor Jesus? And by the way, he, he spelled his name on his YouTube channel, Flying Raptor Jesus, spelled his name R A P T E R. What the hell dinosaur is that? Flying Raptor Jesus. Jesus, Jesus is shaking his head. When you, when you create that channel, Jesus was up there next to God and go, believe this asshole? And God just shrugged his shoulders and Jesus just face palmed himself and then just started shaking his head. Such a fail. Such a fail. Anyways, um, oh, you know what? A bonus question. I'll answer whatever the next question from Theon is because he's Canadian and I have to answer at least one Canadian question here tonight, though half these other guys could have been from Canada. So I'm just going to jibber jabber till Theon asks a question. So... If um, you get bored here, this... Oh, here we go. Who is the horniest male in the world? Male Turkit. The horniest male in the world is probably... A stupid question. You Canadian bag milk drinking... Maple leaf cheering, maple syrup drinking, douchebag! What a dumb question, Theon. Does Mario Kev realize I'm not attacking him when I asked him about the 100 lines of Tetris question? By the way, Mario is like all of a sudden getting over 50 lines in Tetris. Like he has a little feed here that I've set up on my front page here where he plays Tetris on, and you can see it live. And he's been getting over 50 lines in Tetris. My contention is that it is not him playing on the other end. I don't buy that for a second. I do not buy that for a second. There you go, Theon. Do I quote South Park often? Absolutely. There's a lot of times that I quote South Park. And um, I, I mean, what the hell? Um, yeah. I, I quote a lot of this stuff from, like, the World of Warcraft episode. Like, prepare to be pwned. I say that in real life. Even though it's, like, so stupid and corny to say pwned in, like, the real world. Because, like, old people look at you and they go, what the hell is his problem? What the hell language is he speaking? And I go, you know what, Grandma? Get out of my way before I run you over with my car. And she goes, bring it, bitch. And then I have to run her over. And then the cops are all like, what the hell did you run her over for? And then, like, then there's, like, all sorts of questions and stuff. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Leave me alone, people. All right. Absolutely. One more question. Fifth question that comes up. One, two, three. Hurry up! Four, five, oh, it's Theon, god damn it. Have you ever joined the Mile High Club? No, I've actually not flown too many times. Even when I lived in places like Albuquerque and Wisconsin, I, I drove my car out there. Um, so, yeah, I've been, I've been on a plane flight twice. Two times I've been on a plane in my entire life. One was to a senior trip in Orlando, Florida, 
And two was actually when I was out in Wisconsin and I had to fly to Cleveland, Ohio. And ironically enough, I'm wearing the T-shirt from the group that I was representing in Wisconsin from America Coming Together. Um, but that's a whole separate story. Um, anyways, yeah, two times I've flown in my entire life. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the end of the show, and this dragged on way too long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nonetheless, Friday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at theawesomearchfiend.com is where you need to be to join this fine group of people in Morshoe and let Morshoe take you up the hiney hole, because that's what Morshoes like to do. And that's how we shall end it tonight with a gay reference from Morshoe. You gay wad. Not that there's anything wrong with that, buddy. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>